a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Quick pass to Mitchell. Providence is on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Quick shot. Big save by the goaltender once again. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Great pass from off the right side. Drives it to the crease. And he goes back to regroup. And he is ready for that save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Thunderbirds are in a great position halfway through the season, James, and you got to give credit where credit is due to the management group who looked and identified players on this roster that could work well together, and they acquired the pieces they needed to be a contender. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't. It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. Picked up along the boards by Walsh. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. Here comes the sentence. Stalls usually scouts before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Fellows has that no contest zone ability, guys, which is when he wins possession in those battles for loose pucks. I'm expecting one of these star players to push their team tonight. James, over to you. It can be quite awkward when you come to a new team. You really don't know who anyone is. You kind of walk into the dressing room and you're trying to figure out where to sit and who you're sitting beside. But eventually, you know, the conversations start happening. You get comfortable in the room, then you get comfortable on the ice. When you want to make that first impression, you want to send a clear message to your coach, I'm here to work. That's something you can control. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to the score! So they took it into the back of the head. on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. Stalls ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. He's got a little jump. He's in! and get across to make that save. Providence has got a hold of the puck now. Sends it ahead to Olivier. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Cormier. Providence has got control of it now here in the offensive end. Stalls taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Puck picked up by Morrison. Oh, excellent play and goal there. Let's get the call here. The Bruins will lose a man tripping the call. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice. The four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that you're going to score. Well, with the delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring. So that's going to nullify their power play, but it doesn't really matter. They got one on that one. Very effective. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The checkers draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James. But they get up by one. And got to wonder if it now opens the game up. Now a quick pass to Hall. Into the corner now. Come up with the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Nice pitch. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Passes on over to Bellows. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Moves the puck. Norberg, so it's in! He scores! They're striking quickly. Two goals in 50 seconds, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Checkers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Tynan's won the draw at center. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Booty. early James to get on the board and guess what you hope that the floodgates really open
The Bruins got off to a wonky start, but they seem to have found their footing here, Cheryl. Well, they certainly have. Now, they got behind the eight ball early here, James, but they were able to push their way back into this game now within one. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Tosses it to Kaiser. Here's a short pass to Rapula. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Kaiser. Let's it go! Quick stop by Cormier! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Bruins haven't been rewarded for all their scoring chances as they trail in the first. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. The checkers move it in. Quick feed to Kaiser. Return pass. Handles the pass. Moves it to Foley. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Picked up along the wall by Kaiser. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Now he slides it up to Kirk. Providence has got the puck along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Pokes the puck away. And now it's over to Mikola. Coming to the front of the net. Swats at it with the glove and got just enough of it. The shot's come from the middle of the ice and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position and he makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Charlotte's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Bellows has won the draw inside his own end. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. The Bruins played along the wing. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Charlotte's got the puck in the corner. Denies the slapper. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Centering feed. Oh, what a chance. And he fanned on the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Here's a rip. That's blocked by Kaiser. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the checkers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Providence has got possession here in their own end. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. And he slides it quickly to Patan. Slick feed. Quick pass to Lomberg. There's a shot. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Hammers the shot. Blocked in traffic. Scooped up along the wall by Sirizadi. Moves it quickly over to Mete. Providence has got the puck against the boards. Comes up with the stop. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Cormier's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Pat saved. You've got to be better than that. Snaps it on that. Oh, he stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to 
get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Providence has been right there with them all night long, and look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James, to be able to get the equalizer. You can see the excitement on the bench. That's gonna provide a lot of energy in the second period. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. On the right side, takes the pass. Olivier's got a goal in this tied game, James. You know it'll be him that'll be looking to break it. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Denies him again. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Slides it across to Bellows. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a short pass to Kirk. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. Coutts got it against the boards. And not much on that one. Play whistle, dead penalty coming up. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're gonna head to the box for two. Taken by Rich. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Chance in front. Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. And the puck clears the zone. The Bruins gain possession. Providence has got a hold of the puck. the call, big face-off looming. Still lots of time left in the period. The Bruins have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. So much time in practice working on D-zone face-offs, and this is exactly why coming off an icing, you win it and you have the opportunity to get out and get a change. How did he stop that one? There's another stop. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. From the left side, moves it up ahead. And here comes the judgment from the official. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Here they come up along the wing. Charlotte's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Sends it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're gonna close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's all tied up. The Bruins win it. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. 
And now he tries to get it across to Bellows. And that's a smart heads up play by Osterley. Gains the zone along the right wall. Puts it on net, wide of the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Great reflexes, another save. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Now over to Lauko. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Quick feed to Bellows. Blocked by Cormier. Charlotte's looking to break out. The checkers carry it along the wall. Solid check to slow him down. Sends a pass over. Sends a pass in front. And that's intercepted. Charlotte's on the attack. Feeds it over on the attack. And he hangs on to the puck. Mackey's taking it from his own end. Can't hang on after that hit. The Bruins take it along the wall. Back in front. Go ahead, goal. Puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that the first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Bruins have persevered. They've weathered the storm, and look at this. They now lead here late in the second. Nah, this should give them a real jolt here, James, and they'll head into the intermission with the lead, and this is really important that they feed off of that energy and they come out in the third line. Mackey's got it along the wing. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Plague. And it's a quick pass to Patan. Puck grab by Lumberg. Great poke check on the reach. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. And he takes the feed. Shot attempt completely falls on that. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Change up, change up. Puck exits the zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. From the open ice, they gain the line. With possession along the wall. And he makes the save. Charlotte's in transition. He's got a step. Oh, and he missed on the breakaway. Uh, hard to believe you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. This is a product of looking for the perfect shot. Man, it's a game of inches. Four seconds left. And that's deflected off someone in front. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Here we go, we're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting it on the offensive action. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Providence is leading in this high-scoring, high-flying game, but I gotta tell you, the goaltenders on both sides, they must absolutely hate it. It's a 200-foot game of odd man rushes and back-and-forth play. Moves it to Lombard. Providence has got control of the puck. Denies it in front. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Mitchell stick handling in his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Lombard. Providence has got the puck along the wall. And there's the whistle icing the call. Lots of time left in this period. Providence is clinging to this 4-3 lead. Bellows wins the defensive zone faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Lauco. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Olivier's got it in the corner. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Gains the zone on the left wing. Grabs control of it at the point. Chase in front, and that's stopped. 
Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Bruins grab possession to the puck. Break away! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And then... Scores! And make it 20 of the year! Oh, that's a nice number, James. Showing consistency in offensive production. He's got to like that one. Well, these below-the-goal-line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Bruins now lead by two. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. The checkers get a hold of it. Quick pass to Clay. Sort of got the puck. Shot! Oh, you made on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Kirk's lugging the puck. Poked away in the offensive end. The Bruins have it now. Puck sent over to Mete. Here they are on the attack. Sends the feed in front. And a new pass. And he opts to backtrack here with the play. Turn that chance aside. Driving right to the front. Scores! I think that went off the defender. shall we and just go with the goal calls here's a pass in front and he denies that great opportunity there the marlies are up next on the schedule and i hear tickets are still available a few select seats so get them now it should be a good one coming up the bruins have a significant lead here in the third period they have brought their a game tonight providence has got it now hammers it on net just fine Taken along the wall by Hall. Puck scooped up by Stahl. Here's a centering pass. This is an open game here. It scores! What an opportunity and delivers. Well, when you're in tight like that, you always want to make the goaltender drop and move first, James. And I think it's the bite, the pause, the fake sell of the shot that gets the goaltender to move one way, and then he moves it to his forehand and puts it in the empty net. The Checkers haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. Close to the crease! Nice save from point blank range. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Shot! Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Oh, they do it again! Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. He had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. The Bruins are across the line and into the offensive end. 